right, well, we've uh, arrived to our pickup going to Little Rock. Looks like there's a little bit of a line here. Basically, just have to come in, and there's a uh, little office phone in there that you have to call a number. Basically, tell them where you're going, what your trucking company name is, and all that jazz, and take your phone number down. Oh, hold on, you guys are splitting me apart here. Um, then they call you when you're when they're ready for you. So it's supposed to be uh, 43,000 pounds. All it says is uh, you guys are tangling me up. Is uh, trailer load. I'm hoping it's not just one coil. I'm hoping it's multiple coils. What's all that noise over there, Max? So, this is where we'll be till they call us, I guess. So they just called me right back. Um, they forgot to get the load number, which I thought was weird anyways. I guess, I mean, that the guy that went in there with me, he's going to Little Rock too. Oh yeah. So we're all probably going to Little Rock. Probably. Anyways, she forgot to get the load number. Had to give her the load number. Looks like it's two coils. They're about uh, 20,000 pounds. Of, did she say 20,000 pounds a piece? Yeah, 20, 20 something thousand pounds a piece. So you guys know me, I don't like to haul one big, heavy coil I'd rather do multiple coils even that even if that means more tarping I don't know this older trailer just doesn't like a lot of weight in one area so we're gonna get the coil rack set up and uh, wait for them to give us a call we're pretty muddy I mean that um, these places we've been picking up have been pretty muddy I, I, I took a I took a good bit there was there was a decent amount of mud and rock on the deck yeah We are finally tarped up. Do we have another bungee? Uh, yeah. Maybe just one more. Right. Oh, we're missing a ring on this. 
Um, don't worry about it. We'll, uh, maybe this step will block the wind. I don't, I don't know. Unless you have a bungee there. Let me see if we got one. Sometimes I just throw some in. The, oh, you know what? I got some in the side box. Because I get too lazy to put them up properly. Or I get in a hurry. And I just start slinging crap everywhere. I'm so unorganized sometimes. It is crazy. My life can be such a mess sometimes. Of course, it's gonna grab my shirt, grab the strap, grab everything. Heaven forbid I was sliding off a cliff and all I needed was a bungee strap to fucking catch them. I would be fucking dead. When I want it to catch something, it won't. When I don't, I can get it to catch on a glass table. It'll hook onto this glass top of the table. Anyways, um, not a very good tarp situation here, honestly. That should have probably been pulled forward more. I don't know, it is what it is. That's what we got. All right. I don't know if we got time to stop and get a shower today. We might have to stop tonight and get a shower whenever we stop. Because, uh, I mean, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't found another load, so it's not like we're in a big hurry. Um, it looked decent coming out of Little Rock before I booked this load. And now that I booked it, it's like it's all crap. I don't, I don't know. That's my luck, I guess. It is what it is. Are you trying to get those out right now? Yeah. Yeah, I made a mess in there. Um, we still need our paperwork, right? Oh, you're right. Let me go grab that. All right, so we just got loaded up, headed to Little Rock. We just posted our video yesterday of, uh, I guess what I said, uh, if Lita and Mason don't want to do their job, then I don't need them. Well, Mason and Lita dropped the ball because the rate con says 1300. Like, I can only do so much. If they're not gonna do anything, then it's pointless to have them around, honestly. And a lot of you guys are all up in your feelings. You know why businesses don't work that have family that work for them? Because they're afraid to say something. If you're afraid to say something and not fix the problems that need to be fixed then you deserve to go out of business but when it comes to work I don't care if it's my mom I don't care if it's my dad if they're messing up you have to tell them they're messing up so also all you guys that are like oh my old oh my old lady would never get out there and do that well if you let her sit at home and not do anything, then it's your own fault. Got a bunch of white knights in the comments. Lita. Yeah. Saying I treat you wrong. Maybe I do. What am I doing here? Oh, I need to put this. You would get bored sitting in the truck not doing anything. Service history, e-log. Man, it's been so long. Where do I punch in? Isn't it it's like it did an update. It looks completely different now. It's not what I wanted to do. Oh, it's not what I wanted to do. Oh, here it is. Vehicle. Why did it look different? Um, one, six. Anyways, I don't need you guys up in my comments telling me how to run my life. One, 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 nine. You do you, I'll do me. How's that? All right. Let's 
go to Little Rock. I am filthy. Absolutely filthy. I'm very appreciative of Lita helping. And I hope she knows that. Like I said, you would get bored just sitting in the truck. No, they're all upset because I called you and Mason out for messing up on that load. That they mess up. Oh, that's family. You shouldn't talk to family that way. When it comes to work and your job and your company, you can't just be like, I can't say anything. It's my family. That's how that's how businesses go out of business. <coughs> You're too afraid to say something because it's your loved one or your family. No, if they're messing up, then they need to be told. If I'm messing up, which I mess up, I'm not saying I'm not I'm not perfect. Or I'm perfect. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm perfect. They let me know when I mess up. Trust me. I'm my. I'm my worst critic. If something's messed up, I beat myself up over it more than any of you guys could ever. Like when we had the smudge on the windshield. Do you know how furious I was about the smudge on the windshield? And Lita was editing the footage and I'm like, we can't put that footage in there. And Lita's like, we took the footage, we have to put it in there. Me personally, I wouldn't have put it in there, but everybody's like, can't you see that you got a smudge on the window? Don't you know that all of that is shot within a day or two of each other? And we don't see the footage until much later What it is, is here, let me show you how I have this set up. I've got this magnetic mount right here when I wanna put it on me, and then I've got this magnetic mount right here, and then this goes and clips on right there toward the window. So when the GoPro is there, if there's a smudge on that window, I can't, I can't see because the GoPro's in the way. And what probably happened was I probably had my dirty gloves on when I stuck the GoPro up there and it put a smudge on the window and I didn't know about it because all of that's in the way, so. But I love all the people that wanna to try to tell me how to run my YouTube and run my business, yet they don't do it themselves. Like, oh, you, you, you don't know your window's clean? Go do, go start your own YouTube channel and I'm gonna pick apart every little thing that you mess up too. And you'll see how it is. Nobody's perfect. What is that right there? Oh, it's a fake owl. Oh yeah. It must have been on the building and blown off. All right, we're gonna see how many miles we can put in. Man, I would love to get a shower, but it looks like, oh no, because I closed that e-log, is it not gonna show it now? Oh, I accidentally did it. I think I gotta add it through here. Yeah, here it is. So we've got seven hours to get there, but only six and a half hours of driving. It is now 2.30, so that'll put a stop in at nine. Oh, the likelihood of finding this, maybe we should just stop and get a shower. Because there's no way there's gonna be a parking spot at nine o'clock. There's no way we would be able to get a shower. I don't know, we'll see what happens. All right, so we went down the road to a truck stop called Jumpin' Jacks in uh, Lewisport, Kentucky. Because it said they had showers. Um, oh, this is what it looks like. They have no scales. It is not American owned or American ran. It's $8 for a shower, but it's another $8 for the second person. So it was $16 for one shower. They don't do team showers here. Even if you share the shower. One of the nastiest showers that we've ever been into. Like... Whoever took a shower in there before, because there's toilets in there, somebody blew the toilet up. I mean, it just looked like the, sh the toilet got shotgunned. Thank you. And uh, black mold everywhere. I've got some pictures. 
kind people here are kind of rude too to be honest so i would probably steer clear of jumping jacks i'm about to leave them a terrible review because 16 dollars for a shower that probably hasn't been cleaned in a week the whole place is dirty yeah the whole rest the, everything they got a they got a subway i don't know the subways they got it glassed off so maybe the subway's clean but like the actual truck stop the shell or the beat <clears throat> I think it's got a, it's got a shell sign, but I thought they were wearing a BP. No, they were wearing a shell. Uniform. Were they wearing a shell uniform? Yeah. Just yeah. it's just a disgusting place. I wouldn't eat here. The only reason I agreed to go ahead and take the shower is because we were already here. There's not really a lot around here either. And I paid. For, I already paid for one shower. She already paid for a shower. Yeah, and they they treat it like Fort Knox. They have a door that they got to punch a code into to get to the shower area, and then each of the doors have a, a code too. So. She paid for the shower, and then he walked her back, and then you said something about... I was like, I, I, I there's somebody else with me, because he was punching the code in, and he didn't give me the code. So, yeah. and I didn't know where the shower was after that. Yeah, so... I don't know. It is what it is. We're going to... It's 3.45 now. We're going to try to put in as much as we can, and get as far as we can see what it says we got five hours and 17 minutes left on our clock we must be digging into our time because i don't think it was an hour here was it i don't know all right we'll see y'all